Hello, um, today we'll be learning about the Kiro serve. For, I'll just get straight to it. First up, um, I really suggest your camera sensitivity is at 1 and your shift lock switch is on. The shift lock switch allows you to do stuff like receiving much easier, setting, spiking, instead of doing it with no shift, it's much harder with no shift. Anyway, um, let's get straight to it. So first step, um, you should look in your keybinds, and I suggest you set your keybinds to these, um, which are just the default ones, power three, and you can change it to however you like the power. Just, I suggest you copy it. Once you have copied it, you can pause the video if you needed. Um, press C and it should go to 15 down here. And you, for the first step, you have your shift off. Practice walking across the line like this. And then once you start getting the hang of it, start walking across the line with shift. So on the keys, it looks like either um, A and S across this will do spam T, or on the other side it just be, well, S and D. E. So second step is the ball. While you're spamming this, you press the ball. It should spawn around this area. Think as if there's a small little box across where I'm walking. You kind of want it to go around there. So it should look like that. Once you got that down with the run, to the point you think you could jump over and get it, this is the harder part. In fact, the hardest part. You're not doing anything with your power, just your sprint, shift lock, and the keys. W, S, and D, and shift will be very important here. So there are around four main areas you want to hit. The gap in between the, um, oh my god. There's four main areas you want to hit. Over here, over here, over here, and over here. The reason why in these two spots is because it screws up with the chem between the Libro and the either two receivers. But of course, corners are always extremely good. So it should look like this for all four of them. Boom, there's that gap. Then there's that one. There's that one. And then there's that corner, which I net quite a bit. I'll try not. There you go. Um, so, this is probably, you'll probably be able to do this. You'll be wondering, why the heck is it not going over? I'm tilting, I'm doing everything I can. Well, because you're not tilting properly. Yes, this is very weird, but this is the same thing with the rush serve. While you're running across and you're spiking the ball, you need to hold S and A or S and D. Make sure that S is always first. For example, if I'm holding, this is the difference between me holding S and A tilt and no tilt. No tilt doesn't go over. S and A, S and D, S and D. The reason why it goes over when I tilt with either the S, A, or S, D, is because, well, the hitbox gets raised higher up. So once you start learning S and A, once you learn the timing, it'll start going over. And then the aim. Once you've gotten all three of those, the aim, the run, the ball, now here's the spiking. I suggest when it's far away, you do S and D. S and D seems to go farther. For example, if I do S and D right at the line here, oh my god. 
I do S and D right at the line here, it most likely won't work very well. It will work like that. But if I do S and D to the other corner, it seems to go much farther. S and A seems to go a bit shorter, which in some cases can be pretty good. For example, I'll show you why S and A to that corner will be good. For instance, there might be every wing spiker dropped back once you've aced with your Kiro many times. The ball is about to drop right here. Everybody is expecting it either to go here, this line, which is very vulnerable, or this corner. It's going to be very difficult to dive over here. And if so, the setter is going to have a very tough time. And then the spiker will have a terrible setup, and your team can ultimately block. That is how you do the Kiro. Um, I hope you like the edits. Yes, also I can do videos over 15 minutes now, which is epic. Much longer scrims. Anyway, um, see you guys. Hope you have a good day. I'll be posting a lot today.